All right, setting up the uh, pipe gate. At the moment, it's still pretty much a storage space for everything I can shove in under it. So there's like a lot of stuff and wires and things. I mean, I haven't eaten it up before, but like I say, it's a, it's a constant work in progress. Um, I've set up just two small speakers that I've placed in some um, plastic backing. Um, and I now have Butter running on it, which is, uh, I don't know if I'd say more configurable. Maybe it's just the level of experience that I am at now that makes these things a bit easier. Let's see if we can focus here quick. There we go. So, I mean, uh, I don't use this for extremely high-end emulation. Um, and I've got it running on a, a 5.4 aspect ratio screen, not quite a 4.3. Um, as you can see, the two controllers are set up in uh, the left-hand side there, and we're connected to Wi-Fi, which makes transferring of ROMs nice and easy. You can literally just connect to it and dump things backwards and forwards. Um, I've been working on a couple of the things that I would like to play, so uh, you can see, for instance, that there are videos and things running of the actual game. Um, this is from a scraper that I've pulled online. Um, one of the games obviously isn't, so this one here I had to make up myself. That's uh, Sonic 1 with Knuckles, it's a hacked ROM. But yeah, just a fun, I put these things together and... play with them. I haven't done anything for Super Nintendo, or PC Engine, or Commodore yet. Um, under MAME, I do have two games. Um, probably my favorite two MAME games Mortal Kombat 2 and uh, WrestleMania. The, the nice thing about, uh, about this configurator is that you can pretty much set up your keys per game. So even when I, when I run MK and, and my button layout is basically A, B, X, Y, and the two shoulders. You can you can set them up um, using a game remap file specific to the game, which is nice. What a great game. Uh, start and select brings you back to the main menu. We can go back. Uh, PlayStation, I got uh, I just installed Tekken, so even without a BIOS it seems to run just fine, so there's no need for a BIOS. Just uh, got some bubble wrap keeping the screen dust free at the top. And then I just keep connected. Floor ring. In this case, I use the kind of the four button layout. I don't have hot keys on my phone, just do that. I don't do anything. Kicks. <laughs> 